Good morning. Welcome to the WCCE Morning News Show. My name is Santiago and I will be your anchor for today, Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. This is week three for activity classes. Here's Jack with the weather. The current temperature in Lake Lowry, South Carolina is 58 degrees. Today's high is 72 degrees. The low tonight is 51 degrees. The forecast for today is cloudy. Now back to our anchor. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute to the flag of South Carolina and pledge to the Palmetto State, love, loyalty, and faith. At Crowder's Creek, we pledge to seek smart solutions beyond more learning, act responsibly, and respect others. And now for a moment of silence. Today for lunch, we will have walking taco or turkey and cheese sandwich. Dr. Dickey, Miss Hamilton, and Miss House would like to wish a happy birthday to Marcus Buckholz, Madeline Sapita. Lillian Kleinfelter, Hamilton McCall, and Rylan Whitehead. Please see your teacher for a birthday pencil. Good morning, CCE. I'm Emma. And I'm Gracie. Remember our Eagles call of the month for May is be proud of who you are? Being ourselves help us show off our differences and do the things we want to do, rather than the things that, that are viewed as popular. We, when we embrace our individuality, our self-esteem increases. So does our respect for others. When we behave in our own unique way, rather than going along with what everyone else is doing, we could prevent situations like bullying another person just because everyone else is doing it. Think about how you can be unique and, and all you have to offer today. Have a great day, CCE. Happy Tuesday, boys and girls. I hope your morning is off to a fantastic start. I know mine sure is. I'm always excited to see kids coming in ready to learn and already ex exhibiting those great characteristics of what it means to soar. As promised, we're gonna try to have a guest on the sofa every single day because we have so many kids who are just doing the right thing, who are being kind to others, being respectful and being helpful. And those are the types of things that we wanna celebrate and highlight here at CCE. So now let me introduce you to my special guest today who is Sawyer Clark. Come on over Sawyer. Sawyer is a second grade student in Ms. Champa's class, but he was actually nominated for the Soar Sofa by Mrs. Grimaldi. So boys and girls, once again, it just pays you to do the right thing. You never know who is watching. Sometimes it may be your teacher, sometimes it may be another staff member, but the important thing is just to soar no matter where you are every single day. So let me read to you a little bit about what Ms. Grimaldi had to say about Sawyer. Sawyer assisted in the classroom by helping a classmate clean up books that had been knocked over and spread all out over the floor. He also took the initiative to clean up other messes in the classroom without being asked. Boys and girls, taking the initiative is such an important, important characteristic. It means that you know what the right thing is to do and you go ahead and do it without even being asked. So Sawyer, I am so happy to hear that you care about our classroom, you care, care about our school, and you care about helping others. So here's your certificate. Here's your pencil that says my principal is proud of me because I'm certainly proud. And last but not least, your special eagle ring. I hope you keep it forever and wear it with pride. What advice do you have for our other CCE friends? Keep sewing and never give up. Keep soaring, never give up, and great things will happen, boys and girls. Hopefully you'll be joining me soon. Have a great day. Today's winners of a book machine token are in Ms. Ayalu's first grade class, Delaney Yocum, and in Ms. Lozeric's fifth grade class, Kale Ingold. Congratulations to those students. That's all the news for today. Thank you for watching the WCCE Morning News Show. Have a great day.